New plan. Let's look somewhere else. Who are you, Siri? Wait, hold on just a second. What in the cheese crackers? Well, well. Looks like we found something spicy. Thus should be perfect for today's briefing. Decades prior to SCP Foundation studies and the Nazi-funded supernatural experiments run during World War II, there existed a small German supply company that went by the name of Pelican. The Pelican scientists would intercept, evaluate, and store ancient artifacts excavated from the ruins all over the world, hoping to innovate something new from the ancient lost knowledge of our ancestors. They were incentivized by the government to discover a new mineral, something that could create a global necessity in an effort to salvage Germany's faltering economy from the aftermath of World War I. Sourced from various artifacts that remain unknown, even to the Foundation, one Pelican employee constructed a fountain pen that used iron gall ink, which is often used by artists, but known to corrode pens from the inside due to its nature. But such wasn't the case with the Pelican pen. In fact, no one's ever managed to pull it apart and find out why it's held strong for nearly a century. Because when a person wields the Pelican pen, it takes on a life of its own, writing out everything about its holder and what they need. It does research and creates art, anything and everything. In the aftermath of World War II, the Allied forces collected any technological or supernatural anomalies they could get their hands on, and the Pelican pen was no exception. Within the next five years, the earliest incarnation of the SCP Foundation would seize and label the object as SCP-67. It was here that more students were done and detailed experiments were run on the pen, and it was discovered that SCP-67 would also force the user to illustrate with a talent far beyond their own skill level, a side effect that was preferred by researchers, though it was unpredictable when the pen would choose to illustrate or write. When put in the hands of non-humans, the subject proved to function as a normal pen, producing only senseless lines, proving that it needs a cognitively evolved mind to exhibit its abilities. The pen had no effect, as long as the ink stayed contained at least. Decades later, a drawing from SCP-67 would be placed inside SCP-914, a machine that enhanced anything placed inside it, possibly a debriefing for another time, as this machine has a history of its own. This was a process from which SCP-85 was born. Attempts to recreate these results have since been unsuccessful, indicating once again that SCP anomalies are purely coincidental and cannot be replaced. And now, even though SCP-67 has never been reported missing, this Siri counselor seems to wield it in every single video she appears. It's safe to say that, like my new candle of life, the pen must be a replica that- what? <laughs>